everybody, I'm Trevor. I'm excited to be back at Breakpoint. Since last year, we've passed eight community proposals, funded 65 artist grants, paid over 900,000 render upgrade rewards, and grown the team by over 2x. community have continued to stretch the boundaries of what can be created. Here's just a little snippet of what they've done the last year. From independent films to Emmy nominated productions to The Sphere, the community have really powered the future of creativity. Many of the events and graphics you're going to see today were done on render, and we're really just getting started. Uh, we welcome anyone in the community to apply here for a grant and uh, show what can be done on the network. So that being said, the, the big first piece of news here is our upgraded to Solana is complete. Our, our new burn mint equilibrium model is now fully up and running on Solana. And our community has really embraced that. You know, we, we now have the majority of our circulating supply on Solana. They've moved almost 2 billion into the Solana ecosystem, making us the largest native project on Solana today. And I've got to say thank you. We haven't been idle. We've uh, been focused on growth and, and uh, done an amazing job so far, doubling year-to-date revenues. And I'm really excited by some of the recent developments and what we think they'll mean to growth in the network. First, our one-click wizard is now live, uh, simplifying the creation process for artists. Over and above that, we've added a host of integrations that facilitate faster scene uploading and render downloading. And what I'm really, really excited to announce is Redshift is now in public beta on the render network. A huge accomplishment for us. What that means is we are taking jobs, uh, we are taking Redshift's jobs and uh, payment for those, those jobs on the network. And we've made great progress on our Blender Cycles integration, moving it now to Testnet. Uh, at BlenderConf in about a month, I hope we can actually announce a little more there, but a really exciting milestone. Both these are, are, are absolutely um, massive achievements for the network because they really expand our addressable market and uh, therefore the potential users of the network. And naturally, we've expanded our APIs to take advantage of all of these. What, what that means is it really unblocks the pathway for larger agencies to start using the network and, and driving different usage patterns. So we're, we're really excited by that. So well positioned on the render front to drive and accelerate growth and to commence deploying the 500,000 render uh, tokens reserved for creator rewards. Then on the AI front, we're collaborating with Hollywood and the AI community to develop an equitable solution for artists and really making sure that covers protection, provenance and revenue in a way that makes sense going forward. We're lucky to say we've added six compute clients who are all amazing uh, projects in their own right and will use the network in creative different ways that we really can't envision today. Above and beyond that, we've expanded our APIs to allow those compute clients to now access GPUs on a per instance reservation basis. And for us, we see that really springboarding or fueling AI growth in uh, 
offline work jobs, or offline workloads being brought to the network. Um, you know, examples of those being upscaling, translation, more agent-specific Lorenz, and really for us a, a pivotal, exciting element of, of bringing that second half, the, the AI use case, to the network, and again, driving usage. Really, that's it. If you want to learn, please go to renderfoundation.com and get involved there. Thank you so much for your time.